Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look is on this makeup look right here. I wanted to do something that was super neutral that could go with either cool colors or warmer colors. Could go with black, white, gray, bright colors, anything like that and I wanted to do something affordable. So in today's look I combined both daytime, nighttime, cool, warm, and affordable. So if you're interested in seeing how to get this look then just keep on watching. So starting off, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Over Paint Pot. This is going to help cover up all the veins on my eyelids and prime our eyes for the shadows that we'll be using today. You want to make sure to always do this step because if you do not, your shadows will end up creasing by the end of the day. And whenever I prime my eyes, I always want to make sure to set it and I'm using my NYX Love in Paris palette and this matte cream shade. And I'm just going to pack this on my lid from my lashes to brow bone as well as my lash line area on the bottom. Then jumping over to this warm, almost an orangey tint brown. I'm just gonna buff this into my crease area, creating the shape of the eye look we're wanting, and I am wanting to extend this out more because we are doing wings with this look. Moving on to my ColourPop eyeshadow, and I'm not entirely sure what the name of this is or how you pronounce it, but it's a beautiful gray taupey color with purple reflex in it. Now the purple, you can't even tell that it's purple when you have it on. It has more of just a cooler look to it and I'm just putting this all over my lid area and packing it on with a synthetic brush. I'm going in with a dark, richer chocolate brown. I'm going to buff out the very edges of that in my crease area as well as deepening of my outer V so I am again keeping with that shape we want the shadows to be and I am using a smaller more compact blending brush to make sure we have this color really concentrated between that orange warm brown and the silvery took color. Then I'm going to go over the very edges of that brown with that same blending brush from before but without any additional product. Then jumping into mittens also by ColourPop I'm just going to be using a more dense, really tightly packed blending brush. I almost wouldn't consider this a blending brush because it does not move. The reason why I'm using this is ColourPop eyeshadows are cream, so in order to get full pigmentation, I wanted something that was really dense, and this is going to help keep the depth and also give it more of a blended look than using a flat brush. Then going over the edges of that, I'm using the brush from before without any additional product on it. And again, just blending out those edges and with all the blending that we did, just in case we lost that silvery taupe color, I'm just going to put that back on my eyelid. And then going in with my e.l.f. cream eyeliner, I'll be lining my tight line today. And I left out my waterline, mainly because when you do your waterline, it adds more of a dramatic effect and I wanted this to be neutral for both day and nighttime, so that's why I left it out. Then I'm going to go in with my H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner from Wet n Wild. This is my favorite. It is super long lasting as well as very affordable. I have tried so many expensive eyeliners and this has been my favorite eyeliner of all time. So if you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend it. It makes some of the best wings you will ever have. Just going to throw it out there. And it's like four bucks. Go get it for yourself. Then I clean up the edges of it because I like it to be very sharp. I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and I'm just cleaning up the very edges of that because I like a very sharp look, if you haven't noticed by now. <laughs> then using my Remote Lash Accelerator Mascara. You guys also know I love this mascara. I use it all the time. I find that it does not flake. and. It does not get clumpy super easy. My biggest thing is I just want my eyelashes to be nice and dark to where they blend in with the falsies that I'll be putting on. And I got these off of eBay so I don't really have a name brand and type of lash that I can give you. I'll put the name of what's on the box in the description box so you'll be able to find them. I just can't tell you the exact name. Then going in with my Nivea Men's Aftershave. This is 
going to be my primer for today. I love this. I know that a lot of people are skeptical of using products like this on your face, but I personally love it. I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I am just going to be buffing that onto my face over top of that primer with a angled kabuki brush. And I personally really like the finish of L'Oreal foundations. I feel like they're some of them are very comparable to MAC, um, just consistency wise. So if you're looking for something that's similar, that would be a good alternative. I still love my MAC foundations, but this is just going to be something to fill in whenever you run out of it. <laughs> then using my same concealer that I used to clean up my wings, I'm just putting that in an upside down triangle shape under my eyes, on my chin, cupid's bow, and the bridge of my nose. This is going to add lightness to my face to highlight as well as conceal all of those areas. And it is a thicker concealer, so I do a thinner coat of it, but it is one of my favorite drugstore concealers because it does not crease ever if you set it right. Then going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in translucent, and I'm just packing this onto my under eye area. The reason why I'm tapping and not just flinging my brush around everywhere is because I want to press that powder into that concealer to where it does not move and I don't want to create any streaks in it. This is going to help set it to where it stays all day. Then setting the rest of my face with my CoverGirl um, loose powder in light. I'm just going to press that into my foundation as well to give it a nice finish, give it a nice even look, a tad bit more coverage but mostly for staying power. And again, packing this in and not rubbing it because I don't want to make any streaks in my foundation. For bronzer today, I will be using my NYC Sunny Bronzer. I love this bronzer if you're not going to contour because it adds a nice warmth to the skin, but it gives just enough depth, just enough depth to where you don't need a contour. And I'm just putting this in the hollows of my cheeks and on my temple and the sides of my nose and my jawline. And again, when I go on my nose, I go super lightly. This is just to add a nice sun kiss look. Then going in with my Milani blush in Luminoso. This is definitely one of my all-time favorites. Definitely think it's a staple for everybody. It's beautiful. Then going in with my Smoke and Whistle highlighter by ColourPop. These are, hands down, some of my favorite highlighters. If you guys have not tried them out, I highly recommend it. I almost prefer this over my Becca highlighter. It is that good of a highlighter, and its staying power is incredible, and it's literally eight bucks. Literally. And I'm using this on my cheekbones, my eyebrow bones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Then going in with that dark brown we used earlier, I believe it's in Mittens, and I'm just putting this on a very, very, very fine tip brush just to get this super close to my lashes. And then going in again with a fluffier angled brush and I'm just buffing out the edges with that shadow on the brush. And then going in and mixing the two colors that we put in our outer V, I'm putting that on a fluffier brush but still flat and I'm buffing out the very edges of that. I want to keep this very concentrated because I don't want it to get too smoky. I want it to be just smoky enough. And then going in with a this darkest brown in the palette, I'm just going to be packing this as close to my lashes as I can and only on the outer third of my eye because I just want to add that little bit of depth at the very back just to keep my eyes more open. Then going in with that lid shadow we use, I'm just going to put it in that little gap between my tear duct and the brown and then going in with the highlighter I used on my face on my inner corner and then just giving a quick coat to my lower lashes of that mascara we used earlier. And for lips today, I'll be going in with Sandstorm. This is by Wet n Wild. Um, surprisingly enough, I absolutely love Wet n Wild lipsticks. I know that Wet n Wild is one of the cheaper brands, but I feel like they have hidden gems. And personally, I love the staying power of these. I can put it on at six in the morning and it still look good by nine o'clock at night. I only have to do one retouch, so definitely check them out. Also, I'm using my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray to finish off my look, and you guys are done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys want to see more affordable looks like this then just let me know in the comments down below as well as anything else you guys would like to see. If you enjoyed it make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to join the family and support me. Um, I believe that's everything for this video. Oh yeah, make sure to follow me on all of my social media. I have Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Snapchat. I'm the most active on Instagram, so I highly recommend you guys follow me on there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!